So I have today's packet open to page 425. I think this packet is a little bit backwards. So I would suggest we start at 14 and go through 21 and then we can come back up to here and here and figure out what they're asking us to do. So starting with number 14, it says to write two equivalent fractions for each given fraction. So I know that I can multiply 1 tenth by a fraction that's equivalent to a whole. So I'm going to choose 2 halves. So 1 times 2 is 2. 10 times 2 is 20, and we get 2 twentieths. I can go ahead and try it with 3 thirds. 1 times 3 is 3, 10 times 3 is 30. Now we don't have fraction pieces, but if we were to show 1 tenth, 2 twentieths, and 3 thirtieths, they would all be equivalent. As you can see, the shortcut comes in really handy though because when we're working with 20ths and 30ths, those pieces are really small and hard to draw. Moving on to number 15, four halves. So we'll go ahead and start four halves times two halves equals four times two is eight and then two times two is four. So we have eight fourths. Four halves times three thirds equals 12 sixths. And we could show this with fraction bars or draw a picture. Four halves is equivalent to eight fourths is equivalent to 12 sixths. In fact, think about four halves. If you have one half, two halves, three halves, four halves, you might have recognized that's equal to two wholes. If I have eight fourths, that's also equivalent to two wholes, and 12 sixths is equal to two wholes. So these fractions are equivalent. They are the same amount. Okay, we'll go ahead and do one more. Five sixths times, you can change it up a little if you want. I'll do four fourths this time. Five times four is 20, and six times four is 24. So 20 20 fourths. And I'll go ahead, I like fives, so five times five fifths. Five times five is 25. 6 times 5 is 30. 5 6, 20 24, 25 30. These are all equivalent fractions. Go ahead and do number 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. And then go ahead and start the video again and we'll work through the top part of the page. So on the top part of the page, it says multiply to find equivalent fractions. And I can go ahead and see this is one half. They've drawn lines to find an equivalent fraction. So one half equals two fourths. Now over here on number four, they have multiplied and found the equivalent fraction, the denominator. So we have to use a little bit of reasoning to figure out what fraction they are multiplying by. So definitely rewrite the equation out. We have to think of a fraction that's equivalent to one whole, but we do know four times whatever this number is has to equal 12. So four times what equals 12? Three, four times three equals 12. We're creating an equivalent fraction. So the numerator also has to be a three. This has to be three thirds. 
So now we're ready to multiply our numerators. 3 times 3 equals 9. 9 twelfths. Okay, looking over here at 5 fifths, if we're sticking strictly with the shortcut, 5 fifths times something gives us a 10 on the top. So 5 times something equals 10. 5 times 2, so we can multiply the denominator by 2, and we will get 10 tenths. Now, just by looking at 5 fifths, we know 5 fifths is equal to a whole. So whatever we put on the bottom, this would also have to be equal to a whole, and so 10 tenths is equal to a whole. Okay, let's keep going. 3 halves times something equals a fraction with 6 as a numerator. I know that 3 times 2 equals 6. So we're multiplying by 2 halves. 2 times 2 equals 4, so this is 6 fourths. Number 7, 1 sixth times something equals something with 12 as a denominator. 6 times 2 equals 12. So I can think, what is 1 times 2? And the equivalent fraction is 2 twelfths. You should be able to finish this page on your own. So there's six problems here. Go ahead and go on to page 427. Work through that side of the page. And last but not least, look at the word problems. We've learned everything you need to know to complete all of these problems. And as always, please check your work with the answer key.